Hello and welcome to our how-to videos, designed to walk you through the processes you don't often carry out. In this short video we'll cover how to relink a mobile device. This process will need to be completed from time to time. This video will give you the confidence to complete this process yourself. It's important to remember that relinking mobiles is a two-way process. You'll need someone in the office on Site Manager to send commands and data, as well as having the mobile device connected to Wi-Fi to send and receive commands. Before relinking any mobile, we advise that where possible, you ensure any unsent data is sent back to Site Manager, as the relinking process will wipe all data from the app. This can be done in the usual way by ensuring completed items are placed into the out box and pressing the sync button to clear the out box. If you find that any of the following steps do not work, please refer to the mobile troubleshooting section of our user manual, accessed via the How Do I menu by pressing F1 in Site Manager. Let's get started. I'll be showing how to relink using an iPad, but Android devices use the same process. You'll just find some differences in the location of some of the buttons, so I've included some screenshots as we go along to help those using Android devices. Firstly, log into your mobile device, and when you're sure there's no data still to be sent back, press Settings. Now press Relink Device, or just Relink on Android. You'll be warned that continuing will wipe all data on the device. Press continue and a confirmation message will pop up. Press OK to this. On Android, simply press relink to continue to wipe the data. You will now see a linked device company info screen, which we'll come back to very shortly. I'd advise that you try not to let your screen go to sleep if possible. Within Site Manager, we now need to send a command to make the device available. To do this, go to Mobile, Option A, select Mobile for Export. Double click or use F5 to select the mobile user. Press Select. Go to Option T, send system commands to control selected mobile. Select Reset Device. Press Send Command. Each command will take a minimum of 30 seconds to reach the server. Now go to Option U, display current status of all mobiles. This will open in an internet window. It displays important information about your mobile devices. Your client reference will be in the centre of the screen. It's important to know this reference. Your mobile devices are listed underneath it. Press the refresh page icon and provided it's been at least 30 seconds since the reset device command was sent, the device should now show as available. We can now go back to the mobile device. Remove and re-enter the client reference as it was displayed on the previous portal screen. Press Device or Check on Android devices and select the correct device from the list of available options and then press Done. Now delete the PIN which is entered and create a new 4-digit PIN that the user will enter to log into the app each time. Confirm this PIN by re-entering it in the field below before pressing Link Device. Now return to the portal mobile status screen and press the refresh page icon. The mobile device should now show as requested. We now need to approve the link before we can send any data to this mobile. To do this, in the mobile tab in Site Manager, ensure the correct mobile is selected and go to option T, send system commands and select approve link. Press send command. Remember, this command will take a minimum of 30 seconds to reach the server. Go back to the portal mobile status screen and after 30 seconds press the refresh page icon. If the command has reached the server, the device will show as enabled. If it still shows as requested, wait a few more seconds before refreshing the page. Once the device shows as enabled, we know the connection is complete so all that's left to do is send across the data. To do this, within the mobile tab, ensure the mobile is selected, go to option K, send all of the above. Choose whether to export staff photos or not. The system will now begin sending the data. This may take a little while. Once the pop-up windows disappear, the data is on its way.
return to the mobile device and log in using the PIN you set up only a minute ago. I would advise selecting sites so you'll see them arrive. Now press sync. Your site and staff data should arrive, as seen in this example. If they do not, wait another minute before pressing sync again. It can take time. Your mobile device is now linked and ready to use. Remember, mobile forms will need to be sent separately to the rest of the data. If you have more mobiles to link, you might want to wait until all are linked before sending the forms to all devices. To do this, go to the Mobile tab, Option R, Forms, press OK and exit to the pop-up window, select the form you wish to send, press Send Form. You can now repeat this process for all the relevant forms you wish to send. To receive the forms on the mobile devices, simply press the Sync button, as you would to receive any other data.